the murder of Zack Stoner. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. A lot of you have been asking me to uh, look more into Zack Stoner. So, we're going to. Zack Stoner died May 30, 2018. Zack Stoner was one of the first people that I remember covering the Kanika Jenkins case. He started covering it right at the beginning and actually did interviews with uh, quite a few people that were there attending the party. There has been a lot of rumors that Zach Stoner was actually at the Crown Plaza the day that Kenny and Jenkins was found or that he was possibly there at the actual party, or the day of the party. I've actually seen several uh, YouTube channels where they show videos of him, well, someone that actually looked like him, and that happened to be wearing the same clothing that he was wearing on the Irene Roberts interviews he did. The outfit he was wearing in that particular video, he may have been wearing the night that Kanika Jenkins went missing. Uh, I've looked into a video where they were wearing the same hoodie, the same pants, same shoe color. Looks like him. But it's all speculation. It's all rumors, of course. There's nothing that you can, there's no way that you can prove that he was actually there or not there. Uh, I believe that during the time when Kanika Jenkins was missing, went missing and all that, I believe he was in New York. I'm not positive, I'm not looking at it right now, but I do believe he was in New York. So I guess that's one way to verify that he was not there at the party. So this interview that he did with Irene Roberts, uh, if you notice, it seems like he may have recorded it right away, maybe the next day or even the day that Kenny Jenkins went missing. Uh, the interview he did with the two men also that were there at the party. Um, I don't have their names pulled up right now. But the two gentlemen that were there at the party that he interviewed were wearing the exact same clothing of the party. So either they decided to wear the same clothing for the video to make the video, I guess, stand out more or for whatever reason or it was recorded the day of the party just because they were wearing the same clothing. So them two were wearing the same clothing on his interview with them, right? And then on the interview that he did with Irene, he was wearing the clothing that he may have possibly been wearing the day 
of the party when they recognized him in one of the Kanika Jenkins footage from the Crown Plaza. So that's a rumor for sure. Uh, I looked at the video. It does look like the same clothing, the same hoodie. If you look at it, you can just tell he's wearing the exact same clothing from the first interview that he did with Irene. So a lot of people are saying that Zach Stoner died because of the Kanika Jenkins case from what I've seen online and YouTube and Facebook. Zach was the founder of Zach TV One. It's crazy how when Zach Stoner passed, they actually caught footage of it uh, from different angles aerial view i believe maybe a drone uh supposedly they were saying that this guy happened to be recording and he was like someone's getting shot and he pulled out a camera but upon looking at footage from the day that he got shot i've noticed that there's an aerial view like possibly a drone shot that just happened to catch his death. So Zach Stoner had just left, uh, I believe it was a concert in Chicago, and crashed into a lamppost and got shot. He actually got shot in the head. Um... Zach Stoner covered a lot of gang-related activity on his channel. Uh, it's been said that maybe that's why he got shot. But if you've been following the Kanika Jenkins case, you know yourself that there's been several, well, there was several videos he made where he kept telling people that there was people calling him telling him to back off the case, to not get too involved, uh, that they were watching him, uh, things like that. Just a lot of weird things happening to him. Somebody also broke into his apartment, stole a bunch of his equipment. There was just a bunch of things happening to him and he was making sure that he put it out on social media. He was making everybody aware that it was happening to him. And the more he put it out there, it seemed like the more things happen, more things happen to him. There's several anonymous calls that he got to like his personal cell phone number. Um, he actually went, he actually went live and was live some of the times that he got these anonymous calls. So one of the times that he got a call, it's been rumored that Miss Teresa was the one that called. Uh, another one of his calls, just telling him to back off and naming names, you know, of people involved with the Rosemont, you know, hotel, Crown, po Crown Plaza, I'm sorry. Uh, just naming names, you know, telling him that I sees it all and stuff like that on text messages that he would get on phone calls, emails. He was just getting a lot of weird hatred, I guess, because he was involved in the case so much. No matter how much they told him to back off the case he decided not to he still went forward with the interviews and i believe he had already recorded the interviews that's just one of my opinions on that i believe um that he knew more than he let on so on the footage where zach stoner got shot you could see several cars pulling up and 
pulling away also. The people that shot Zack Stoner has never actually been found. I don't believe that they gave his case recognition, if that's the word, uh, or I don't think it has blown up as much as the Kanika Jenkins case. And he clearly was shot. This isn't something that you're gonna question. Like, did he get shot? Did he not get shot? Like, he really was murdered. And they have not found his killers. So the question is, was Zach murdered because of the Kanika Jenkins case? We know he was murdered. We don't know what happened to Kanika Jenkins. I don't think at this point that we're gonna get more than what we were given already. I don't think that at this point anybody's gonna come out and say more than what they've said. I don't know A lot of rumors about they all got paid, even the mom. I'm not trying to bring no hate towards the mom or the friends or anybody involved. Uh, what I put out there is what I have seen. They're not my opinions. I want to make that very clear. Sorry for the noise in the background. Uh, it's raining and you can hear probably the water in the back. Uh, I don't think uh, Zach's case is gonna get any closure. I don't really think that they're looking for the people that shot him. It could be that he possibly got murdered because of this case. At this point, there's so many theories, so many videos that people have made on YouTube that just point out so many different things in the case. But there's nothing solid that you can present in any video proving what really happened to Kanika Jenkins. I can't put out any video that's solid proof that Zach Stoner was also murdered because of Kanika Jenkins' case. No matter how much we dig, no matter what we look at, whose page we're trying to investigate, I'm sure many of you do that like I do. Uh, we're never gonna get to the bottom of it. There, there's just no way. What's been said has been said. What's been done has been done. What we were given, that's all we have. I believe that whatever was put out regarding the case, I believe that whatever was put out, that's what they wanted us to see. They wanted us to see only what they wanted us to see. We're not gonna get more than that. You know? I know that many of you spent hours and hours and hours, days, weeks, months, just trying to find something to possibly get justice for Kanika Jenkins and Zachary Stoner. Unfortunately, I also believe that we're not going to get that closure. There is one thing that does make me wonder. Why was his channel taken down? Zach TV one. Why was it taken down after so long of him being dead already? That's the question. And where are the last interviews that he was going to release? 
another question. Zack Stoner died before he got to release the rest of his videos. And I believe he may have even had them uploaded already. Maybe on private. And that could have been why his channel got taken down. It said that one of the anonymous texts that he got says the I sees all. And it was a pretty clear warning to him to not release any more videos. So, last question. Did Zack Stoner die because he possibly had more interviews that they were afraid were going to get out there? You tell me. Please leave your comments.